Hello there. We've seen high temperatures across much of northern Europe over recent days. In fact, Finland saw its warmest ever November day on record. But that warm air is now getting pushed further east as we're seeing cooler conditions working their way in from the northwest. So for Tuesday, we're going to be seeing some rain developing across parts of Spain, southern France, stretching up towards Poland as well on this frontal system. To the north of that, quite windy conditions for much of Scandinavia. And another area of low pressure developing in the southeastern Mediterranean. So some heavy rain for Cyprus across Turkey as well, drier into Greece, into Croatia as well. But then to the north of that, we're into that cloud and outbreaks of rain affecting parts of Hungary, Poland as well. Then we are into the blustery conditions with scattered showers for the likes of Denmark, Sweden, Norway as well. Some snow, uh, some rain around the coast and some blustery winds to come here. So still pretty windy in the far north, but for Thursday, higher pressure for central parts of Europe, keeping things drier here. Could be some frost and some fog problems, fog lingering for some for a time, and those heavy downpours persisting into central parts of Spain on Thursday too. So looking ahead at the next five days or so, for both London and Paris, mostly dry and settled. Temperatures are going to be on the rise again, could be turning a bit more unsettled once again into next week. Some showers around for Madrid as well further east across Europe. Sunny spells and dry weather set to persist in Berlin. Bye bye. Hello there. High pressure in charge across the bulk of North America. So that means a lot of dry settled weather in the forecast for many areas and pretty warm too. Temperatures above average. It's been quite cold for northeastern parts of the United States and eastern Canada but that milder air is now sweeping its way further northeastwards. So this is how Tuesday is shaping up. We've got an area of low pressure moving in across the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia bringing some rain, some mountain snow here and low pressure sitting just the east of Canada as well. So quite a cool northwesterly breeze blowing for the likes of Montreal. But let's start off further west and we're going to be seeing some unsettled wet and windy weather with rain and mountain snow for southern Alaska, British Columbia, down into Washington state, perhaps into northern Oregon, a bit of cloud and rain at times, but California very much still hot and dry. And in fact, temperatures in Los Angeles will be on the rise over the next couple of days. It'll be cool though and showery for Vancouver and also for Seattle. If we take a look further east now and a northwesterly breeze affecting Montreal and New York but that milder air moving in so temperatures here on the rise a lot of dry sunny weather as we head down across the Appalachians the Carolinas into Georgia and northern Florida but for southern Florida a little bit cloudier here with a breeze coming in from the northeast and we could see one or two showers affecting Miami at times over the next couple of days it will be warming up though for Montreal bye bye Hurricane Eta is the fifth major hurricane of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. It's made landfall in Nicaragua and is moving across a swathe of Central America, bringing some devastating flooding as well as those catastrophic winds and storm surge as well. We'll look at that in just a moment. But first off, across South America, heavy showery rain across central and northern parts of Brazil over the next couple of days and thunderstorms mixed in with those heavy downpours. Further south, things are looking drier and warmer. Scattered showers and thunderstorms also across parts of Colombia, Venezuela, into Ecuador as well. But they're particularly heavy through parts of the Amazon basin and some more prolonged rain around the east coast of Brazil for a time too. Heading south into Uruguay and Argentina, still quite warm here, temperatures are above average for many areas. Further south, blustery showers down across Patagonia. Here's the outlook in Rio de Janeiro, more outbreaks of rain over the next couple of days, should turn drier here though in time for the weekend. Buenos Aires is staying fine and dry too. Now the green colours you can see on the map here, this is the rainfall coming out of Hurricane Ita. As it moves inland across Nicaragua, Honduras and Guatemala, it could produce up to about 900 millimetres of rain over the next three days or so, potentially bringing catastrophic flash flooding and landslides as well. So more on that on our website, but plenty of showers for many of our featured cities across the region. Bye bye. Hello, let's take a look at the weather across Africa and the Middle East now. And we'll start with Africa, where there are some heavy showers that are bubbling up around the Gulf of Guinea over the next few days. You can see on the satellite image the areas of cloud here. So for the likes of Nigeria, down towards Namibia as well, plenty of heavy showers in the forecast. Meanwhile, across much of North Africa, temperatures are a little below average, particularly for parts of Egypt, Libya as well, with a bit of a northerly breeze blowing here. 
for South Africa, an area of heavy showers and thunderstorms developing towards the east. But in Cape Town, it should be mostly dry. I think temperature is about 26 Celsius on Tuesday. Cape Town will turn cooler with the arrival of some showery rain as we look towards the weekend. Dakar, warm and dry at around about 31 Celsius. Now, the outlook for Khartoum is plenty of sunny and dry weather, but temperatures dipping down a little bit over the next five days or so. Could be a few showers at times for Casablanca and in Kinshasa as well. We've got an area of low pressure developing in southeast Mediterranean, bringing some rain across parts of Cyprus, Turkey, and that's spilling into Syria, Israel, perhaps into northern parts of Iraq and Iran as well. But elsewhere across the Gulf, things are looking dry, settled, warm, with fairly light wind around too. But this area of rainfall will be quite heavy, especially over the higher ground. Could be some flooding issues. We could well see a few showers pushing into Kuwait through the middle of the week. Bye bye. Hello. Let's take a look at the weather across South and Central Asia. And as the southwest monsoon has now withdrawn, we're still seeing a few showers around, nothing too heavy across southern and eastern parts of India at the moment, and in Sri Lanka too. Still some shower cloud lingering around over the next couple of days, but further north, a lot of dry, settled weather, as we'd expect for this time of year, up towards the likes of New Delhi into Karachi too. But heading on into the middle of the week, there'll be more showers cropping up closer to the east coast of India, affecting the likes of Chennai. Moving our way further northwest into Central Asia, largely dry settled conditions here. Some colder air moving in across northern parts of Kazakhstan that will sink further south later into the weekend and into next week. But for the here and now, it is warm and dry for Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, into the northwest of India too. Down the west coast, a lot of dry settled weather, but there will be one or two showers cropping up, especially down towards Kerala. Mali looking largely dry, 31 Celsius, some heavy showers and the odd rumble of thunder across Sri Lanka and a few showers heading into Andhra Pradesh, but they tend to die away up towards West Bengal. Here's the outlook. It's dry in Mumbai, Dakar and Islamabad, but Colombo will keep with the sunny spells and the scattered showers, perhaps some thunderstorms mixed in as well. We're also set to see some showers continuing in Chennai over the next five days or so. It's cooling down though in Tashkent. Bye bye. Hello there. The West Pacific is currently hosting two tropical storms, Atsani and Goni, which we'll look at in just a moment in a bit more detail. You can see them here on the satellite image, Goni in the South China Sea and Atsani out to the northwest of the Philippines. Meanwhile, further north, high pressure holds on across much of central and northern China, across the Korean Peninsula, into Japan as well. So some quiet weather here. Still a few showers for parts of Honshu and Hokkaido blown in on a brisk northwesterly wind. A lot of dry weather down the east coast of China, but then we're back into those tropical storms. Atsani is slow moving out to the northwest of the Philippines. Goni here is going to be moving close to Vietnam over the next couple of days, may well strengthen a little bit, making landfall across southern Vietnam through the latter part of the working week. In Osaka, we're set to see a bit of rainfall arriving as we head towards the weekend. Remains are warm and dry though for Beijing for the time of year. And a lot of warm weather too across northern parts of Australia. In fact, a heat wave developing for northern parts of Western Australia in through the Northern Territory into Northern Queensland as well. Much cooler further south, a cold front is moving in for the likes of Adelaide, so a real drop in temperature here. For New Zealand, quite a lot of dry settled weather, a bit of rain lingering around the west coast of the South Island, but Christchurch should be dry at about 22 degrees. Very showery and rather cool in Sydney over the next couple of days, cooling down too in Perth. Bye-bye.